In this video, we'll take a look at the map Alexandria. Alexandria is a hot map, and what that means is that units will fatigue more quickly due to the heat present on the map. It means that any movement is going to cost you more stamina than movement done on a neutral map. And that is potentially important because some factions have a resistance to heat, some units have a resistance to heat, and some units are affected by heat negatively. Well, most units are affected by heat negatively. So in Alexandria, we have the beautiful lighthouse of Alexandria in the background, but the predominant feature of Alexandria is forest with some lightly... Uh, some some openings in between, but if you look at where the deployments actually are uh, You can see that I've deployed over here and Most of the fighting is going to be happening usually through this patch of forest sometimes in the open depending on depending on um, Depending on which army composition you bring now the player that is the uh, assigned the attacker role in this case is going to be able to skirmish out of the forest into the opening if both players are attackers it's going to usually end up being a meeting over here one thing to keep in mind is that if the engagements happen happen through the forest here then the flank and the rear of the player on this side is going to be protected to a significant degree by this river because units are going to move very slowly in the river they're going to move very slowly in the forest so it's not going to be easy to outflank quickly here and of course we have the red line of death also stopping any flanking from happening so this is sort of a map where where the units are naturally being compressed into this very small space so so it can be very good for rushes for infantry rushes for for factions like uh, Tylus or uh, Lusitani, Swebi, but the problem with those factions is that they will tire quickly on this map. So some factions have a resistance to heat, like I've already mentioned, and the, f uh, the factions that have the most units with a resistance to heat, uh, it's going to be Parthia, Armenia has quite a few, Seleucids have quite a few, Egypt, uh, Carthage, those types of, of Eastern factions that you really would, Eastern and African factions that you would expect to have a resistance to heat, do have a resistance to heat on a lot, lot of their units, and you can check which units have it. Now, on this map, uh, winter isn't really going to do much. From uh, You can have a sandstorm, you can't have rain, snow, of course. Um, but this map is going to have, it's a bit of a mixed bag, because... Infantry is going to love engagements in these forests due to not being under skirmish fire and elephants and chariots are going to have a hard time doing much in these forests. But in the open, elephants and chariots can do a lot of damage, so it depends entirely uh, where the engagements happen. But if you have elephants chariots, there is nothing stopping an infantry army from moving up through the forest all the while and being able to engage either in the forest or being able to stay in the forest for the entire map and then skirmish out of the forest. So this is another map that is fairly good for infantry and that favors factions that have a resistance to, to heat. So it's not a great map for skirmish builds. It's a decent enough map for, for balanced builds because you can skirmish out from a forest. Skirmishing into a forest isn't really effective. Uh, but if you are on the attacker side, you're probably going to want to stay to the uh, stick to the forest, uh, take the engagements. Uh, if you have the stronger melee line, you can take the engagements out of the forest, but stay protected from elephants, chariots, skirmishing in the forest. If you're the defender, uh, or if both players are attackers and you have to engage somehow, then you have both of these thick forests available to move up through. Uh, there, there's going to be some openings here, but but this is a good map to bring solid solid infantry builds and use cavalry and the openings as best you can strength and honor